So the other day, I actually, I actually heard someone mention Surge. People, kids from the 90s, especially if you were a teenager in the 90s, you definitely remember this. Here's a stroll into an era long since past where teenagers used to drink an energy drink that actually had less caffeine than Mountain Dew. No one said we were smart. Wild, radical commercials that would convince us this was not your mom and pop soda. Surge! It's the 90s. Now, I remember Surge hitting like the scene, the scene, the soda scene. Back then in the soda scene, they hit hard. They went after that um, rebellious, uh, over the top. Surge. That's the bad boy of sodas out there. Get you all jazzed up. Again, we were 90s kids. So. Now we're now saying we're well, you're smart. Nirvana albums and I was listening to Marilyn Manson drinking Surge just thinking I own the fucking world. I didn't own anything. It started as competition for Mountain Dew. Extreme, extreme with an X and this and I'm snowboarding today with Mountain Dew. They, they got into that and Surge was like, we can do that, hell. Crazy camera views, Ooh. I did drink it. I thought it was kind of, I like, I don't know if I thought it was cool. I honestly, I mean, I'm not gonna say I didn't get sucked up in that kind of stuff because yeah, I did and I liked it whether it was placebo or not. I tried it again. I was like, yes, Surge, I'll get Surge. You know, uh, okay. I was still drinking soda then. I don't drink any soda now at all, unless it's like a special treat. Don't remember it tasting like this. It tasted like what I would think warm cat piss tastes like. I had to look into this. If the recipe was changed from 97, the 90s to 2000, 2003, they stopped. Or my palate changed. I don't know. Could be either. That hits hard nostalgia for a lot of 90s kids. But this one is universally considered a failure. Crystal Pepsi. It did not go well. Right now. Mm. Sammy Hagar rocking out to drinking some clear Pepsi. No one else is rocking out to it because no one else liked it except me. I actually liked it until someone pointed out that it had the consistency, um, the, the, the viscosity, the texture, everything and the look look like a glass of saliva and it went it took it from something i liked to something i want to know part of and to this day it's considered one of the biggest flops not the biggest flop new coke now new coke started in 85 and this is how it becomes relevant in the 90s in the 90s they decided oh uh-uh we didn't lose that battle it's coke 2. do you remember that i sure as hell don't i can honestly tell you i've never seen that can in my life but it was a thing it failed twice. What's worse than having the entire world watch you fail? Having the entire world watch you fail twice. But I gotta admit, if it was sitting in front of me right now, maybe not a 25 year old can, but if a can of fresh Coke 2 was sitting in front of me right now, oh, I'd try it. I'd try the hell out of it. Next one is clearly Canadian. Think of a land where grand mountains, cold, fresh waters, lush green forests, and ripe fruits blend together in perfect harmony. But clearly Canadian reached the peak. There was a time that it was getting pretty popular. And I, I genuinely do have fond memories of it. I remember the, the cherry and the raspberry, the black raspberry, or whatever that was, and strawberry. Oh, so good. I want one. It was available in some places up until the 2000s. But people liked this so much, they actually started a, uh, a crowdfunding platform, like a Kickstarter. I think it's called like crowdfunding. And they actually are now taking pre-orders in 2014, as of April. 2014 taking pre-orders on cases of clearly Canadian. Are you kidding me? That's awesome. Hey, clearly Canadian, you can use this, but you gotta, you gotta pay me for it. Clearly Canadian. Taste the nineties. Yeah. I'm the new spokesman. Nah, I wish. I'm sweating my ass off. It's like 85 degrees in Florida. So I'm hot and I don't have the air on because it blows right into the microphone. So you're just gonna have to watch me glisten. I'm so ugly. I'm sparkling. They were always trying to get me to stay out all hours, chase women, party till dawn, but I didn't. And you know what? You wish you had. Every day of my life. Could I? What a shit up. Josta. You better do the good stuff now. Josta. I gotta be honest, I never had this and I don't really remember it, but it was apparently quite popular. It had the Black Panther on it and it had Guarna. Kind of sounds like guana, which is bat shit. Shit, it get you get your bat shit crazy. It was actually advertised as the first major energy drink. I, I honestly have absolutely no idea what this tasted like. I, do, I didn't know anyone who's into it. 
Was it good? Do you wish it was still around? Because I really don't know, but I know it came and went, and in 1999, with the death of the 90s, came the death of Josta. Rest in peace, Black Panther. Kick! This was R.C. Cole's attempt at Mountain Dew or Miller Yellow. I do remember this one. It, I actually didn't remember it when I was compiling this list, and I just started looking at uh, just pictures of sodas to try to see if there's anything I was missing, and this one came up, and I was like, oh, shit, I completely forgot about this. I'm very sensitive to caffeine, and I can taste it. It has a really acidic, bitter funkiness to it. And I think this one was just, mmm. It was like a kick right in the mouth. Not necessarily a good kick. But, again, this was another one that was pretty popular. And them 90s kids loved it. Well, while I thought Surge hit that market hard, kick kicked it up a notch. See, there's so many fucking puns you can do with this. This was like the Nickelodeon of the 90s, of the 80s. Like, Double Dare uh, were the 80s. This was that exact same, there was many incarnations still there, but that same vibe, the radical BMX mm, of the 80s, they're like, we're gonna do that 90s. The hardcore psycho nitro drink, kick. Hardcore psycho nitro drink. 90s. Sadly, kick, kick the bucket. Let me know if you remember that one. And before I get to my personal favorite, which will be no one's favorite, here's a couple honorable mentions. Uh, Virgin Cola, I actually don't remember this. They tried real hard to market Virgin Cola of Virgin, the company, like Richard Branson Virgin. I gotta be honest, when I was in my teens, there is no force on the planet Earth that would have me carry a can that said Virgin. Virgin Cola. Uh-uh. It could have been the best tasting stuff that ever existed. I was like, mm, could you put that in a glass for me? No, okay, no. Got any more of that Joss the stuff? That can's at least got a panther on it. Mario soda. I want this now. I if you have it and want to get rid of it, I love Mario stuff. Especially 90s Mario stuff. Oh, I want Mario soda. Hubba Bubba. Bubblegum flavored soda. Chocolate soda. This is not chocolate milk. Chocolate soda. I think this says it clearly. But my favorite, believe it or not, Fruitopia. Pursue happiness, somebody out there will find it. And that's cool by us. You know, we like it when people feel good. Said Fruitopia, we just want to make you feel good. I know. Like I said, I wasn't into cola. I, I really wasn't into Mountain Dew or Dr. Pepper or any of those other ones. The best way I could describe the flavor is fruit-ish? In my little 90s mind, it, was, it, was, it wasn't an energy drink, but it was like a sports drink. It was a sports drink, you know. We'd go out and play baseball or basketball or football, and I have a fruitopia. Like, I thought it, like, gave me some kind of special strength. Because, like, it has fruit in it. And it have shit in it. Bubbles. And a shit ton of sugar. It made sense at the time. That one. I, and I think they said that it's actually still available in, like, Australia. So, if anyone from Australia is watching this, and there's actual new bottles of fruitopia. Cause I, don't, I would, hey, if somebody wants to send me a bottle from the 90s, I will gladly put it up on my uh, collection up there. But, I'm not gonna drink it. If there's a new one within the last month or two, send them my way, man. Those were the sodas that were kicking ass in the 90s. That sadly are no longer kicking anything. Except me in my nostalgic heart. So, until next time, this was the 90s? <laughs>